Hi and welcome back to my third tutorial on Visual Basics. This time we're going to create a nice uh, application to calculate things with. We're going to uh, code an option plus, minus, divide and multiply. Simple as that. Okay, let's open up Red. Press Alt plus F11 and uh, create a new user form. Alright, now we need 10 objects in our... Um, yeah, in our uh, calculator, we need a label. Let's call it LBL header. We need a caption for it. I'm going to call this calculator the Super Duper Monster X Calc. All right, like so. I'm going to create, uh, make the font a little bit bigger, bold again, like always. It isn't necessary, but I just want to, you know, that you remember that you can use every property there is. So yes, okay, let's uh, resize this a bit. All right, oh wait, it's called like so. Awesome. Yes, perfect. Okay, now we need um, uh, another label, which is going to tell us uh, that uh, we're going to create a text box under this label. So we're going to uh, call it LBL number 1, because in the text box uh, that we're going to create after this, we're going to fill in the first number that you want to calculate with. And uh, the caption will be number 1. Alright, simple as that. Resize the bit. Nice. Okay, text box. And let's call the text box uh, TXT number 1. Alright, just drag it under it. And it looks pretty neat like so. Okay. Another label. Called LBL number 2. Create a caption. Um, let's call the caption number 2. Shall we? It's pretty obvious. So yeah, why not? Okay. Another text box. Resize it a bit. Oh no, not that much. Ah, okay. Let's call it TXT uh, number 2. Two, and it's okay like this all right now we have two numbers to calculate with and all we need now is a text box for the answer so let's create a nice box over here and let's call it txt answer all right resize the form again and let's create four buttons one for plus one for minus one for divide and one for multiply. Alright, let's change it all a bit like so. Make nice boxes. Ah, oh, isn't it wonderful to create nice boxes? Okay, anyway, let's recall uh, the command buttons CMD plus, as it is the plus button, CMD minus, CMD divide. CMD divide and of course last but not least CMD multiply all right I think it's all uh, nice only that these two boxes are smaller than these ones but that doesn't matter uh, it does uh, I'm such perfectionist <laughs> all right let's uh, change the caption of this caption uh, of this button to um, plus, this one to minus, this one to divide, uh, no wait, let's just use symbols instead, let's give it a plus symbol, a minus symbol, at last but not least, an x symbol. Alright, looks pretty cool, but obviously it doesn't work yet because we haven't coded anything in it yet. So let's double click on the plus. Go three down and start by uh, creating two variables for number one. First, we're going to tell number one s as string and number one as double. So we we can do exactly the same thing as my last tutorial. We're going to convert the string to a, a uh, to a, a double later on. Okay, now we're going to tell uh, that number one s is txt uh, num 
number one dot text all right so it refers to this box right over there okay now let's uh, also tell that number oh number number one is uh, well number one s all right you should remember what it does it uh, tells number one to make a double of the string that's inside here which is this text box over here all right let's do the exactly the same thing for uh, our number two so let's make a string let's make a double uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, just assign them. Okay, so number two s is txt number two dot text. Obviously, it has to be for number two dot text because we're referring to the number two text box right over here this time. Okay, so let's uh, make number two uh, a val of number two s. All right. I hope you're still with me because it's basically uh, doing the same thing we did with number one. All right, now let's do uh, the same thing we just did, but then for uh, our result. So we're going to say dim answer, or result, doesn't matter, as double, and dim answer as a string. All right, and now we're going to let uh, our code calculate the result. So we're going to say answer is number one plus as we're doing the plus comment right now plus number two all right then we're going to tell answer s to be string of answer so it's making a string of the value of uh, that's inside the variable that's inside answer we're going to make a string and store that inside answer s okay then we're going to tell txt uh, txt answer dot text which is this text box right over here to be cdbl which is uh, val or int or str but then for a double so we're making sure that it, it's a double and I'm gonna tell it to be answer alright simple as that alright and then let's uh, tell txt um, answer uh, dot text equals answer s so this these are basically two ways to show that uh, this box should be the answer we could do it with this one and this one I'll just leave both there so I'm pretty sure it should be okay right now let's test it out because uh, we have we first have to test if this button work before we're going to continue to the minus divide and x okay let's uh, do a simple one like 5 5 plus 5 is 10 all right we did it now let's test if it's correct 10 plus 5 should be 15 awesome okay now let's go to the minus the minus is exactly the same thing we coded here so let's just copy it up paste it over here and change the plus to a minus it isn't hard at all okay let's test it again play 5 10 and it should be mi minus 5 awesome 10 minus 10 should be 0 okay it works so let's continue to do all of that with all of our buttons so change this to a slash important dividing in code is a slash okay and let's do the last one, the x, go 3 down, do this, change the minus to a star, shift 8, is it on a European keyboard. Alright, click play, test it all, let's do 10 and 10. 10 plus 10 is 20, 10 minus 10 is 0, 10 divided by 10 is 1, 10 times 10 is 100, awesome, it works. You should actually test it about five times with different numbers, but I'm pretty sure we did it, so I'm just going to call it quit. Thanks for watching again. I hope the sound is okay again, and I hope you learned something from it. And you should really play with it, and try to uh, change the, the label, 
uh, try to change uh, whatever just type it all by yourself don't just copy this code from the description because it's very important that you try it yourself that way doing it yourself is the best way to learn okay i'll see you in my next tutorial and well see ya